Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another Cuposca unboxing video for you. So today I am going to be unboxing the Vanellope Cuposca. This is version A of the figure. They also have a version B which is the pastel coloured version. So yeah, I purchased this from eBay. It was £25 including shipping. Um, like I said, they did have the version B for sale but I left it too long and someone else bought it just before me um, but I decided to get version A and if I do decide I want version B at some point I'll just get that one as well or I'll sell this one and get version B because uh, as you probably know from my videos I do like to get the pastel versions so anyway let's have a look at the box so this is the box on the left hand side it has the Ralph Breaks the Internet logo here it has the Bampesto logo and it has the Bandai logo, so you know this is a genuine one. I have seen fake Vanellope Cuposkits and they are awful. They are hideous. So I'm hoping this is, well it is definitely a real one because it has all the logos on. And then we have this lovely picture of Vanellope here. She looks really, really cute. And then at the bottom it just says Cuposkit Disney character Vanellope. And then if we look at the side of the box, you've got another picture of the figure's face here. It just says Cuposkit. And then you've got three little pictures just showing different parts of the figure. So this one is showing the uh, side view of the face. This one shows the front view of the face. And this one shows a picture of the torso. And then underneath that, it's just got the Cuposkit website where you can see the other Cuposkits that they do. Then if we look at the back of the box or what I think is a bag, I'm never sure. Uh, we have this, so instead of the usual framed photo, framed picture of the figures, which is on all boxes, this is more like a, um, like a Polaroid picture. Um, I think just because of the film, that's the way they've done it. So at the top here, it says Q Posket, and it says Q Posket JP. And then, well, actually, it's supposed to be like an Instagram picture, isn't it? That's what it is. It's like an Instagram picture. So it says follow. It's got little dots there. And at the bottom, it says here, Cuposkit Disney character Vanellope, hashtag Disney, hashtag Cuposkit, hashtag Vanellope, hashtag Ralph Breaks the Internet. And then underneath that, it's got Cuposkit Disney character Vanellope. And then here on the left, it shows the two version so I'll just bring this closer so here we have version A which is the one we have which is a lot slightly darker green colour and also her hair is like more of a jet black whereas on that version A a B sorry her hair is more of a, like a greyish black and her clothes are more of a mint green so I would have loved version B but I was just too slow and someone else got it before me there we go that's that side of the box and then on the other side of the box you've just got a full picture of the figure and at the bottom it's got the Ralph Bricks internet logo then if we look at the bottom it's got all the information so this is all in Japanese because it is the Japanese version I don't think they brought this out in Europe yet I could be wrong but I don't think they have and then at the top here, it's got a little sticker at the top, uh, which is covering her face, which is a little bit annoying. I hope it doesn't ruin the box. And then it just says A in the right hand corner. It's got the Ralph Breaks Internet logo. It's got the little Mickey logo here. And then it's got a little picture of Vanellope's face. So that is the box. So let's get it open because I'm so excited. I know I say this every time I unbox a Cuposkit. But I am really excited to see what she looks like. Because I haven't been able to find any like YouTube videos on her to see what she actually looks like. All I've seen is like um, stock photos. I'm not seeing like proper photo of her yet. So really interesting to see what she actually looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. There she is. She's at the bottom there. Pull her out. Pull out from this end. There we go. 
so there we go like all cute baskets she comes in three parts so you've got the head the body and the stand so i'm going to take eight each piece out and then i'll show you each piece individually i'm just going to open the packet <clears throat> so we've got the body, the stand, and the head. Okay, so first let's take a look at the stand. So she comes with the standard black Q-Posket stand. All the standard Q-Poskets come with this black stand. Uh, some of the special edition ones come on different stands uh, like gold ones the glitter ones come on pink ones and like the dreamy style ones all came on white stands but this she is just a standard cube pocket so she just comes on the standard black stand it has two holes in where she will slot into and it has the standard patterned edge around it as well so if we look at the back that way around it has the Disney copyright logo and then just says Bandai Spirits made in China okay so that is the stand so let's look at the body next okay so here is Penelope's body so she is in this little pose with her arms folded which I think is really nice uh, it actually looks a lot lighter in colour on the camera than it actually is in real life it's a lot darker this is a lot darker green than it is on camera on camera it looks my perfect color if it was actually this color in real life i would love it but it is it's dark green let me see if i turn the brightness down does it look it still doesn't look as dark as it actually is um, and yeah she's got her little skirt which looks like cupcake wrappers and then she's got her striped tights on and her little black boots underneath her boots you can see she's got two little nodules which is where she slots into her stand also I don't know how well you'll be able to see it but just on her boot here oops, let me focus it says copyright disney bsp china so that's how you know that she is an original and she's not a fake because she has the copyright logo on her boot just there and yeah she looks really really nice now i don't think there's any flaws on her i really can't see any no I can't see any flaws she looks really really good so yeah there's no flaws on her body at all she looks really really nice so that is her body so now let's look at her head okay so here is Vanellope's head I think she looks super super cute she does look really nice she's got her lovely jet black hair um, I am actually seeing already there's a little flaw on her eye she's got a scratch on her eye <gasps> that's so annoying I'm not going to mess with it because it's going to make it come up but she does have can focus you see that big scratch on her eye that is so annoying but yeah she has a scratch on her eye she has this sort of nude pale actually I think it's more of a peach sort of peachy coloured lip um, which is nice and then if we look at her hair, here it's on the side, she's got her lovely ponytail and she's got her sprinkles in her hair and she's got some pink, orange and blue sprinkles and then she has this bright uh, like fuchsia pink, um, is it like a Twizzler in her hair for her bow and then she's got some more sprinkles here on her ponytail so that all looks really really good looking for flaws I'm not really seeing any others other than that eye although that's a pretty big one because that's what you see obviously underneath her head here she's got her hole where her body slots in 
but yeah no i don't see any other flaws it's just her eye which is actually really annoying because it's something that you see straight away uh, i'm usually quite happy with flaws on the body and stuff because you don't really see them but you are going to see the scratch on her face so you can see her ears as well sticking out you don't often see Kuposket's ears because you should have hair covering it but you see her ears pretty well on here so yeah i think she's really really pretty i think they've done a really good job on her so let's put her together and see what she looks like all together so i'm just going to slot her body in here there we go and then i'm just going to slot her onto her stand she definitely goes that way Ooh, there we go her on and there we go she is very very pretty figure she is really really nice i do think i do now need to get all the disney princesses from the wreck it ralph series to go with her and have them on a shelf and they look really really nice so i think i'm gonna have to collect i wasn't going to but now i've got her i think she needs the other princesses to go with her so I think that is going to be my next collection now is going to be the avatar ones to go with her um so look out for those on the channel they should be coming soon once i can get hold of some so yeah i really do like this vanilla peak cute posket i think she's really pretty i love the little pose that she's in i love her outfit it looks like it just looks so good just like from the movie i love her hair i love the way they've done her hair i think it looks so cute i just think she's a really nice little cute posket and of all the vanilla peak merch that i've seen i think this is actually the nicest one i just think she just looks so pretty her face is really pretty her outfit's really nice and yeah i'm just really glad to have her and the the green is darker than uh, i would have liked but it is still a really nice color and this is actually her proper color um i, I would have liked the more pastel but it's fine, it'll look really nice with my collection. And yeah, I'm just so happy with her. I'm so glad that I got her. She's a really, really nice figure. I definitely do recommend getting her if you're not sure. I would definitely get her because she is really, really nice. Okay, so let's take a look at her from all angles. Here she is from the front, the side, the back, the other side and back to the front so now I'm going to give you a close-up
Okay, so usually I would show you where the Cuposket would be going in within my collection. However, I don't actually have any space for her at the moment. I am going to buy some new shelves, but I don't have them yet. But when I do get them, she will be going on the new shelves. So I can't actually show you where she's going to be going. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put her until I get the new shelves. I think she's actually going to go on my miscellaneous shelves. So actually, I'll put her there and just show you where she's going to live for now. Okay, so this is sort of my miscellaneous shelf in my room. So this is where all the things go that don't really have a place in my collection. So for now, she's just going to live here until I do get my shelf that's going to house her and the other uh, princesses from the Wreck-It Ralph movie. So yeah, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing video. Um, if you do enjoy Cuposket videos, like I said before, I do do a lot of them on this channel. So if you um, like those, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And when my next Cuposket unboxing goes up, you will be notified. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And I hope to see you again soon for another Cuposket unboxing video. Bye!